understand it's your parents' murderer, but if you face him, you will throw your life away instantly, and then he will come after my family. Yes, you were wearing a mask, but that's not the issue. Don't you think he might torture you for information, possibly even for your hunter friends? Don't tell me you won't talk. Even the strongest of men can break. I won't let you do this. You hear me? I will not. The hell Gabriel will rain down on my family if he finds out. I cannot fight him, let alone this entire horde. I... Someone's coming. Get close to me now. <laughs> My pet, I think we've been found. Oh, hello there. Lord Gabriel, you were looking for me. I'm sorry, I was just perusing the area with my pet. Mm. I just love these tender moments. Built the appetite. I could just take a drink. Don't you dare make a move or I will break your arm again. You were surprised I accepted your invitation. I think everyone here is. I suppose I have been a bit rude for not coming to the other get-togethers. You won't hold it against me, will you? So kind of you. Hmm? Do you desire my pet as well? I'm sorry. Even though you've been such a gracious host, I am bit attached to this one's blood. I will be a bit selfish and have to keep this one to myself. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Was there anything else you wish to ask me? Information. What kind of information? Hunters. What about hunters? There have been signs of hunters looming around. Yes, there were some hunters in Madison. They chased one of the young ones in my family. I ended their life with ease. Unfortunately, I was a bit careless and received a small wound. However, I, I removed the rest of the hunters, so it could not be any of those. I protect my family. They are what I exist for. After all, I brought them back to this world. Where would they be without me? Where would I be? I apologize, I could not be more help. Anyway, I think I shall be heading home, Lord Gabriel. While the night is young, my pet needs some attention. I hope we can get together soon. Good night.
sure I would have just had a heart attack. What is your issue? Don't, don't, don't you dare start right now. If you even tried, Gabriel would have broken you in half. Stop and think for a moment. He could have very well been on uh, onto us, for all we know. He has been around for far longer than I have. He is more dangerous than you realize. You need to understand that. Yet your head is so full of revenge you can't even see that. You are about to sign your own death warrant. Ugh. Whatever. Talking to you. Talking to a brick wall will make more sense at this point. <laughs> Top the car. Now. Where am I going? Going somewhere to clear my head and possibly find a place where I can hide my family because you are so going to get them killed. I should kill you myself and save me the trouble. Don't worry. I've already told you I won't kill you. I should, just to protect my family, but I'm hoping that somehow I can convince you to listen to me, but you refuse. You are so stubborn, so foolish. I understand what he did. I know better than you think. I have lost many, many people in my lifetime, and in my after lifetime, if you haven't noticed. But you, you don't even understand what you're doing. You're throwing your life away. Don't you see that? Your parents would not want you dead. Do you really honestly think they want you to harbor so much revenge? And this is where we differ, Hunter. I cannot, cannot I'm throwing my life away. If I could, I wish I could be human once more and not like this. This. Forget it. I'm going somewhere to clear my head. Where are we going? better question is, why are you following me? I don't care why, to be honest, and if you want to know, I'm going to clear my head here. I come here when I need to think, and yet here you are not allowing me to do just that. Are you here to try and convince me to see reason? No. Then why are you you following me here. Leave me alone. To talk. Talk about what? Your parents? The feeling of agony and hurt? The pain? If you are trying to get compassion for me, I am slowly running thin on that emotion. No. Then what? You want me to tell you about Gabriel? Are you insane? Leave now before I truly break your arm again. Still here? I already told you, Gabriel will break you in half. He has a bigger coven than my meager family. You stand no chance, and because of me, you will now put my family in danger unless I convince you to stop. You're suggesting I help you instead? Now you're truly delusional. What? 
listen to your mad plans and then what get myself killed right along with you then my family would be truly wiped out you are stupid aren't you I am here in this world to protect them they are my world I do not wish to listen because you are not listening to <laughs> Hunter placing her hand over my mouth will not silence <laughs> Hunter stop being so child <laughs> I will not You You are so unbelievable Me how am I not unbelievable? I understand why you need to do this, Hunter. I do. You know I was ready to kill you when you chased after Emily and tried to kill her. I would kill anyone who tried to harm one so innocent. But look at it from my perspective. You're putting my family needlessly in danger. I can't. in a pod, stubborn and determined, yet how do we solve such a dilemma? <laughs> well, on the bright side, your adoration towards me was top notch. I'd say you could have an acting career. <laughs> Maybe one day I shall see you on stage. <laughs> well, actually, we are in a theater. This is the old theater in town. We used to come here and watch plays. And that is until they built the newer theater next door. Well, actually, I used to pay for them. But recently, when I was out exploring one night, I realized I could watch the place for free. I do get the best seat in the house. I'm here ever since. Mostly when I'm frustrated or trying to clear my head to get away. I've seen many famous actors and actresses on the stage. I've seen amateur plays, children plays, and so on. There are so many talented and not so talented people who stepped on the stage. Yet, I still enjoyed watching them. <laughs> yet, watching you tonight was very good. <laughs> mm, I don't come here that often anymore, though. After seeing the same play over and over, it eventually gets boring. Rarely, though, there is someone who brings something different to the performance. One who makes it feel alive again for me. Like all the feelings, though, that eventually dies for me as well. I only come here to think now. <laughs> I think you would do great on the stage. <laughs> Why, well, thank you for the compliment, but you outshined me. You see, you usually tremble a bit when I get close to your neck like that. But that party, you acted so perfectly. 
Your heart never once sped. It remained so steady as it did still. Mm. That's so calming. <laughs> if I was in your position, I would be so nervous. That's a simple answer. You could fool anyone. You could fool anyone. <laughs> that's it. My dear hunter, that's it. <laughs> what do you mean, what's it? The answer. The answer to our dilemma. Do you not see it? <laughs> I guess I shall see you on stage after all, my dear hunter. As you will once again have to put on one of the best performances of your life. 